Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. And before we move on to the February reading, actually I have some exciting news to share with you today. I partnered with Keen for this video. And first of all, I'm so blessed to even have this opportunity. I didn't even expect to ever partner with them. But I do have some interesting information to share with you guys today. As a lot of you know, Keen is a very affordable, large and popular platform where you can connect with different psychics, mediums, astrologers, tarot readers um, for any sort of insight, whether it's about love, relationships or maybe health, career. They offer a variety of readings on there and a variety of advisors. I actually ended up receiving an amazing opportunity to, to check out the website myself and uh, I would like to share my experience with you today. So the sign up was very easy, it was very quick. You do have to do a quick questionnaire just to figure out what kind of insight you're looking for so they can match you with the right um, experts. And then once I did that, I just started shopping for the right psychic. Now, I would recommend to read reviews before you proceed because I feel like reviews are very important and pretty much every advisor on there has reviews. So I would go with that and of course I would go with my heart uh, just to see who you resonate with and who resonates with you. I did get to try a few psychics and I did like the ones that I've tried. I definitely found someone that I did not necessarily click with, but that's okay. You know, it's a big platform and I'm sure that you will be able to find somebody that kind of fulfills your needs. Uh, what I did like about the website is that you have three options on how you're able to connect with a psychic. It is a phone call, it is an email reading, and it is an online chat. Now, for me personally, I've tried a few phone calls and I've tried an online online chat. I did like it. I think it was very convenient considering that I was doing that at like 8 p.m. and there were a lot of people available on the site. That's another great advantage of Keen. You can connect with a psychic from work, from school, from home, 24-7. There is always somebody available and ready to chat with you. So the time here is not a problem. What's also great about the website is that you can always connect with the same psychic. If you like them, you can always develop a relationship with them. You can always come back to the same psychic and get insight whenever you want, which is also very convenient. And I do believe that it's good to have some sort of a relationship with the psychic so they know you, you know them, and that's how you develop that relationship. I think Keen is very good for that. And I actually ended up going back in my feed to see who I can connected with to see how long the call was and what the chat was all about because I've tried the chat as well and I could see everything on there. But the best thing that I'm coming to you with today is a promotion that Keen is currently running. If you do sign up with my link, which is trykeen.com111, you will be able to receive your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. I think this is a very good deal. And besides that, when you do become a member of the site, they start sending you weekly deals. For example, $5 free or buy $10 and receive $20 in credit. So there will always be deals there because Keen wants to make sure that it's affordable for you. And of course, all the advisors have different prices. Um, you're not really going to see the same price for everyone, but that's okay. Like I said, just shop around, just make sure that you connect on the spiritual, emotional uh, level with the psychic and then proceed. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly guide you through the process on how to get started on Keen. Like I said, it's very simple, very easy. So at first you will need to fill out a quick questionnaire just to figure out what kind of insight you're looking for. Maybe it's love, maybe it's relationships, maybe it's career. For everyone is going to be different. And also Keen provides you with an option to choose an advisor, uh, the type of advisor. Maybe it's a medium, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and so on and then you just quickly fill out your first name you fill out your birthday and you are all set and ready to go like I said it's a very very uh, fast process you don't really have to do much and then here you go. Uh, Keen provides you with a list of psychics. As you can see, you can see prices right away. You can also see reviews. And I told you that I think that reviews are very, very important. You can click on any profile. You can see what kind of services the psychic is providing. And you can see how exactly you are able to contact them, whether it's a chat or a phone call. 
And that's it guys. I definitely enjoyed my time with Keen. I do believe that I'm probably gonna be coming back since I cannot read for myself personally. But thank you so much Keen for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm really happy that I got an opportunity to even get this partnership. But now let's move on to February readings. Hi Capricorn, I hope you're doing well and here's your February reading and I'm sorry guys that I did not post uh, January readings. I got slammed with requests. Everybody wanted a 2020 reading, you know, and my yearly videos did really well and I just wanted to thank you guys that they did really well. Thank you. <laughs> now let's start with your February reading and uh, let's see what you guys can expect. So Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect to happen in February 2020? Okay. Alright. So, at the bottom of the deck we do have the Emperor. The Emperor is very strong energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with an authority figure throughout February. It's like they could be very dominant in your life you know this can be a father figure this can be a boss this can be a husband this can be uh somebody that you kind of look up to but at the same time you know this person sometimes can cause you tension however at the same time this could also suggest your energy that you could be in charge that there are things to take care of there are duties that need to be done and you will find yourself very responsible this month so the first card we have here is seven of swords and seven of swords a lot of times you know no regardless of um uh, what it looks like in the image it is about deceit right however a lot of times this is about you doing something behind the scenes because you don't want everybody to know but at the same time you're doing it behind the scenes maybe for a good cause you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing it doesn't have to be something that you're hiding from others because you're being sneaky and bad and all of that no this could be something that you're doing behind the scenes because you simply don't want people to know yet uh, this could also be another person doing something behind the scenes that they don't want you to know yet. So let's see, why is Seven of Swords here? At your workplace, okay, um, if you have a job, uh, this could suggest that maybe at your workplace there might be um, an interesting situation happening with one of the co-workers, okay? Now this is not not for everyone because this is very specific, a very very uh, specific meaning here that I'm giving you and again the Emperor is popping up. Uh, I believe that for a lot of you your work and your work environment will be very significant in February. I know everybody wants to hear about love, but if I do see direct love cards, I'll be talking about them. But as of right now, it does seem like in your immediate environment or maybe in your work environment, there could be some changes happening. We do have the tower here, we do have page of wands, we do have three of pentacles. It could be that maybe there will be some sort of a restructure within the workplace or maybe within your immediate environment, like your social circle. Uh, I'm not getting family here. Okay, so this could be their friendships or your workplace. Um, there could be some different things, you know, some changes happening there. In the beginning of the month, you could already be uh, witnessing them, you could already be going through them. Now, if there is absolutely no workplace, it could be your social circles, there could be change, changes within social circle. However, even though the tower sometimes, you know, could be uh, an intimidating card, in this particular deck, this is something that um, is initiated by you. It could be initiated by you, it could be initiated maybe by another person, but this isn't just something shocking happening out of nowhere and you don't know what to do with it. No, this is initiated by somebody. Uh, could be you. And this change is going to bring you new opportunities. So it's not negative whatsoever. There could be something that you might be doing behind the scenes so you can turn different direction, turn a different uh, path. Right, so you could maybe um, find a new approach, find a new idea, I don't know, we could have reasons, all of us could have different reasons, right, in life. But whatever this is, whatever this changes, this restructuring, uh, this does lead to some sort of new ideas here, new opportunities, new connections, new social circle maybe, uh, new friends. Uh, 
you know new co-workers this could be anything really but i do believe that the emperor coming up twice behind you know the at the bottom of the deck i believe it does suggest that you need to take control this month you need to take charge you cannot let yourself relax and just um kind of follow other people's lead you know you do have to be the leader this month okay i do believe that this is the very significant hint here the next card we have, I do not see anybody like lying to you actually, I do not see you being stressed out whatsoever. These could be the circumstances that either you're going to be changing or the circumstances that will be changing around you, you will simply be witnessing. But you will get some sort of benefit from them, you will get some kind of a new opportunity out of them, okay? Now the next card we have here is strength. So strength could be for some of you, for example, if there is an ongoing situation in your life, it could simply suggest that you will continue, continue at the same pace continue with the same attitude and you're going to be patient and strong just like you used to be now um, for others let's see what it is why strength here it could be that maybe you know something might require your patience and your control in February no um okay ace of cups at the bottom of the deck here's love that's where love comes in Strength for others, if you haven't really been working on something diligently, right? If you haven't really been patient about something, uh, there is another meaning here for sure. So we do have King of Cups, we do have Nine of Pentacles, and we do have Nine of Cups. For single people especially, this could suggest somebody watching you, somebody being really interested in you. You possibly may be talking to them on social media or they are somehow distant from you. This isn't necessarily a person that you see every day. I mean, they could be, maybe, but they're gonna be showing you interest in uh, February uh, because of your because of the way you come off to them. Uh, strength for females, especially, is a card of magnetism. Feminine magnetism, being able, having the ability to uh, charm uh, people around you, you know, get them to like you, get them to be attracted to you. It's magnetic attraction. So I think that with that type of attraction, you could really attract this guy, King of Cups, okay? This could be a water sign, this could be maybe somebody else, but they could be watching you, they could be um, not necessarily showing their intentions right away, okay? But they will be there they will be uh, you know you will notice you will notice that there is something going on with this person <laughs> you however here come off very independent very self-content very um, like I don't care you know yeah let them whatever you know let them give me attention because you know your self-worth um, nowadays you know what you're worth you know um, what you expect from yourself you know exactly what you want in life and this connection necessarily even though you may like this person back but this connection is not necessarily going to develop in February because you are too content with how things are at the moment for married Capricorns for uh, Capricorns in relationships uh, this could possibly be maybe your partner distancing themselves a little bit from you but still being interested in how things are going with you you know but they may not necessarily be like in your face um, throughout the month of uh, February they could be working on their life, you know, they could be working on their own independence. Uh, but I do not see you being bothered by it whatsoever. You know, the thing is, I, I do believe that for single people, this could be very significant, that there might be someone there watching you, being interested in you, uh, and may not necessarily be making any moves quite yet. And for you here with Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, you will be mostly focused on yourself and your stability rather than like romantic uh, relationships right and you could be very flattered too by the way <laughs> because you are gonna have that charm you know uh, that would be about two weeks into the month okay now the next card this is kind of like mid-month let's see you have the Sun and the Sun for those of you that have been dealing with difficult situations for those of you that have been needing to see some sort of positive progress this could be a card of light at the end of the tunnel that's how I prefer to call it uh, for others this could be very joyful positive news coming your way so why is the Sun here okay so this could be, first of all, for some of you, this could literally be vacation, 
literally could be vacation. Uh, Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords and the Sun could suggest that you might be going somewhere in February on some sort of a vacation, retreat, rest, you know, where you need to regroup, recoup, where you need to kind of get back to your senses, you know. Uh, I'm going on vacation in March. But, you know, this could be something that is finally playing out in your favor, something that's fair, something that's well-deserved, and you could take it. For those of you that are not going on vacations, this could be some sort of balance coming to you. This could be from your work environment, okay? Maybe something about finances. Uh, you could uh, receive some sort of a fair pay, right? Um, you could maybe come to terms with someone or something. You could be balancing out your relationships with people that you love and maybe you you know, you couldn't be on good terms with them before. Also with Queen of Swords here, even though this could be another person in your life, it could maybe be, uh, again, somebody from work, it could be maybe uh, your friend, I don't know, um, could be an air sign, or this could be you, you know, it's, this could be you taking a very um, rational approach, making sure that everything is balanced in your life, taking care of everything, taking charge of everything, being very fair. It could be that you are going to treat somebody very fairly, somebody that maybe didn't deserve it before. It could be you making the rules this time, you taking charge and you letting them kind of, I don't want to say slide, but you're going to make it fair for them. Whatever they deserve, deserve that's what you're going to give them. And it could be at your workplace and it could be in your personal life, okay? We do have Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which could suggest that you're going to be very... Um, pragmatic, analytical about this, and you are going to make sure that the situation is fair for both parties, or however many parties are involved here. Wonderful. Now, the only thing is, towards the end of the month, um, we have Five of Pentacles. So, Five of Pentacles usually would suggest uh, maybe you getting a little bit sick health-wise. You know, sometimes it could suggest that maybe you're going to have a very large expense and it could become kind of an issue. Why is Five of Pentacles here? Or actually it could be that you may leave a situation out in the cold. Um, Six of Cups, Nine of Wands. There might be some relationships or a, a relationship in your life here with Nine of Wands that you really fought for. You fought for it for a very long time. You've been battling. It's like it's not even a relationship to you. It's more like you continue, you have to always battle something. You always have to be on guard. Like you cannot really relax around this person, right? Or around the situation. It does not have to be a relationship, okay? So it could be that you may end up leaving the situation in the past and move on from it completely uh, or at least uh, temporary I'm sorry uh, 901 here suggests that you can do whatever you want you already are against the tree so if you do continue battling it's okay but if you do decide to give up nobody's going to judge you you know you fought a lot like you fought enough so it's up to you so you could possibly make a decision towards the end of the month to leave something in the past here with Six of Cups. Maybe you feel like some things just need to stay in the past, even though you want them in your life, kind of, even though you maybe miss having them, but you realize objectively that no, you know, this isn't going to bring me any benefit anymore. This isn't really going to uh, do much for me anymore. So me having a pragmatic mind this, this month, you know, having the emperor at the bottom of the deck there, you know, it could be that I need to take take charge and I need to stop battling this you know it's okay to give up so some things are gonna be okay to give up this month guys other things will be uh, definitely balanced out by you you might initiate certain changes here you might uh, even uh, have an admirer they're going to be um, watching you be very careful with you trying to find like a key to your heart type thing and i think overall the month is going to go great for you okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye